Okay, so I started doing some more thorough analysis of these deep cabinet editing parameters in the HD500. To do that, I had to put an output of my audio interface into the input of the pod. I used the AUX input, and then the output of the pod going into an input of my audio interface. So then Impulse Response Utility runs its sweep through it and analyzes what's going on inside the pod. I was systematic about it, and I checked each combination of the thump and the decay parameters at 0, 50, and 100%, all while the resonance was at 50%. All right, so here's what I found in the analysis of these cabinet parameters. First, let's look at decay. Keeping resonance 50 and thump at 0, we've got decay at 0, 50, and 100. As you turn up the decay value, you'll notice that the frequency response becomes pointier and that individual frequencies take longer to decay, so they are lasting longer, they're resonating longer. Less decay, more decay. With the resonance at 50% and the thump at 50%, here's what going from 0 to 100% decay looks like. And with the thump at 100%. So now let's look with decay held at 50%. Here's what thump from 0 to 100% looks like. Thump at 0, thump at 50, and thump at 100. 50, 0. With decay at zero, here's thump at zero, 50, and 100. 50, zero. And with decay at 100, here's thump at zero, 50, and 100. 50, zero. Finally, I did a short test leaving thump and decay at 50% and adjusting the resonance level. These experiments were fun to do, but unfortunately they didn't give me as much practical information about when to use the parameters and how as I was hoping. But it's been interesting and I will for sure use the low cut because that prevents several of the cabinets from turning into just unlistenable piles of mud. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you like it, you can check out my entire course in audio fundamentals on my other channel called Loudness War. Thanks a lot for watching.